Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka The Venom Vlog. And today we have some very interesting news. Big shout out to Mr. J on Twitter for sending me this link. I was in the middle of for, uh, filming another video. You'll see that soon. It's my first Thunderbolts video. It's going to kind of be a long one because we talk about the, all 12 issues of Warren Ellis's Venom run, or, or Thunderbolts run, I guess, with Venom in it. And we'll have that up as soon as possible. I'm going to spend probably a day or two editing that, uh, and I'll get it up to you guys maybe this weekend. So hopefully you enjoy that when it goes up. But for now, this is something quick and easy and movie related we could talk about so let's sink our teeth into this uh, and again mr j i'll put a link to his twitter account down below make sure you go say hi to him and say thank you from the venom blog and i will do the same as well uh, so we have here long range tracking for venom revisited uh, could it set a new October record? And this is from Box Office Pro, and it's written by Sean Robin. So I'm going to put a link to the article down below as well. Make sure you go check it out. Uh, they talk about uh, new data that's come in. Uh, they were revisiting their initial forecast for Venom, and I think it was, uh, you know, they think they were wrong about the uh, the excitement for the movie and the and based off of you know trailers and how many views they're getting. I think the Venom trailer, the second one that came out, is like for the fifth week in a row or something, is still the number one trailer watched. You know, everything past Comic Con, it has like the most views for the most part, and it, I think uh, maybe Aquaman might be above it. I can't remember um, or went above it one week or something. Uh, but it's doing really, really well. There's a lot of interest in this movie, and I think that's because a lot of people are curious. And though the movie does have its haters out there and the people that don't want to give it a chance, I figure for those of you who are here that are like me are optimistic, you know, the movie may not be great, we may not like it, but I like the fact that we're at least optimistic about it, that we're willing to give it a chance. And uh, that says something, because a lot of times people make up their minds very quickly nowadays or jump on a bandwagon, and all of us are kind of being like, hey, let's wait and see. And I appreciate that. So you guys might like this news uh, even more, because they initially said that this movie might come in around 30 to $50 million. But now they're saying that they've bumped that up between 55 and $85 million. Uh, and they go into detail why. Uh, the last movie that did this well in October was Gravity, and that had $55.8 million. And they're saying that this could possibly do better than that, which would make it a record-setting number for an opening weekend in October. Uh, so that's really great. They're saying there's a, the film registered very encouraging 91% average positive interest and 14% recall scores uh, based off of the last trailer and everything. So that's really exciting to hear. It's, it's neat to see that people are at least having somewhat of an optimistic approach to this movie. Um, I know we can't please everyone, and a lot of people out there are going to dislike it for whatever reason, and that's fine. There's definitely movies I'm going to see a trailer for and be like, no, no way. Uh, but, you know, for this one, I'm like, hey, I like Venom. I want to give it a shot, and I like Tom Hardy. And they even credit Tom Hardy to being the main reason people are optimistic. You know, they're saying like, hey, he doesn't choose a lot of bad movies. I'm just, as someone who is optimistic, it's nice to kind of see this and come from a source for once, not Reddit or somewhere else like some other YouTubers do. And they like, oh, my source said, it's like, oh, your source over at Reddit. Yeah, awesome. You just read an, a Reddit article and that's your source. Uh, yeah, so my show is not a gossip show. Uh, I am out here to give information to you guys when it's reported by actual sources. And sometimes we'll speculate and we'll have fun and Sure, occasionally I might get some information wrong, but I try to get it all as best I can from a reliable source. And uh, this one's pretty pretty solid to me. So uh, this is nice. I think this helps the optimism a little bit. I would love to see this movie do really well. They're saying that it could, you know, pull in that amount opening weekend. And then they're also estimating that total domestic, it might flatten out like around 130 to 140 million. Uh, that would be a bummer. I hope it does a little bit better than that. I hope it has good word of mouth. I hope it's a solid movie. And I hope, you know, gets people going to see it two or three times maybe. But, you know, the average moviegoer, they see one movie a month. And if this pulls in their money for the front half of October, that would be great and then maybe at the end they can slip in like Halloween or something because I know that movie will probably do pretty well too and they did that for a small budget because it's a Bloomhouse film so that movie will probably be a success so between you know this opening and then if there's nothing major in between Venom could have a good two or three weeks at the box office uh, especially if it has good word of mouth so I'm hoping that's the case but I'll put a link to this down below you guys check it out let me know what you think of the information and uh, I'm I'm excited I want to know if this gets you guys more excited uh, if it if it affects you at all or are you still like just like hey it's just numbers uh, you know we'll see when we see I totally get that approach too so if that's your stance on it let me know down below as well thanks for watching my show as always and again Mr. J thank you for sending me this link I'll put a link to your Twitter account down below everyone go thank him in person on Twitter if you can if you're on Twitter if not thank him in the comments thanks so much for watching my channel as always like share subscribe all that fun stuff and I'll see you in the future peace